everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, it is going to be an update on my last Project Pan style video. So I used to run a Project Pan series on my channel, stopped for a while because to be honest, I just really wasn't making much progress, but things have changed recently and I was hitting pan on a lot of different products. So I decided to bring back a Project Pan style of video. So I will link my first one in down below. I went over the products that I have hit pan on recently. And then I also decided to bring in a few products that I wanted to see if I could hit pan on. So I'm gonna be giving an update on those products. I'm also gonna be pulling a couple new ones into this Project Pan. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let me show you my outfit of the day. So today I just have on some denim jeans and then I just got this uh, Friends uh, pullover at Kohl's. I thought it was super cute. They had a whole line of Friends stuff at Kohl's. I went there looking for an ugly sweater because we had a holiday party. Ended up not wearing an ugly sweater. Wore this instead. <laughs> and uh, but I found this and I was like, that's really cute. And it is raining and super windy in Las Vegas and I had some appointments to run. So yeah, I just wanted to be cozy and warm today. Burr. I didn't do any filming on this look because I was so busy getting ready for my appointments, but I will link all of my makeup down below. I did use one of the new shadows from Auric, and I do have an Instagram tutorial up on March Beauty Word showing a look with the green one, and I did something really similar today with the red shadow. So let's see. How did I do? I'm looking at my products. All right. So one of the products that I had pulled in, I was actually, you know, I had planned to do my my Project Pan style of video and I was going to put this one in there and then it was like the day of or the day before I ended up hitting the bottom of the pan, but I still wanted to put it in and to see, you know, how much more use I could get out of it. And that was from e.l.f. and that is the Poreless Putty Primer. So this is what she's looking like now. I will add in some close-ups so you can see the progress, but um, yeah, I've, there's like three little nail marks at the bottom here where I've hit pan and I've used a lot up. This was a primer that when I first used it, I was like, okay, no, no, I think it's fine. And then the more that I used it, I was like, wait a second, I actually really like this one and I use it quite frequently. I used it today. I do think that it does a good job of filling in the pores and I kind of struggle with some pores, you know, in the usual suspect spots and I like this. I'm going to continue to use it and uh, I think that it's a good one. This is one I'm going to keep in the project pan and I want to see how much more use I can get out of it the next time also. There's a few that I'm keeping in um, and a few that I'm not going to keep in but I'm going to keep this one in and just see how much more use I get out of it. Like I said, I use it a lot so it's kind of like why not? I don't know. I mean I feel like it's going to take me a long time to use up because you also only need a small amount of product but I'm going to keep using it. And then I also pulled in from Marc Jacobs. Do you think I hit pan on this one? Do you? This is the Omega Tantastic Bronzer. No! I'm shooketh. I'm really surprised that I did not hit pan in this one. Like there's a nice dip in it in the center. I'm just really surprised because after I filmed that video, I mean, this is always in my bathroom. And I mentioned that I, I just finished filming uh, my video for looking back on my favorites from 2020 and talking about do I still love them, do I still use them. And I mentioned there are quite a bit, you know, there's products that I keep in my bathroom vanity because they're right there, I see them, they're easy for me to grab for. And this was one that I used so much, it never went out of my bathroom these last like two, two and a half months or so here. I used it so consistently, so often. I can't believe it because I've heard so many people say that they've panned this bronzer. I felt like I was on such a roll with bronzers too. like. I hit pan in the Jouer Bronzer Duo. I hit pan in my cream blush or my cream bronzer uh, in a uh, trio. What am I trying to say? What trio? In my Kaja Trio. I kept wanting to say Kosas and I was like, I know that's not the right answer. In my Kaja Trio, I hit pan in the cream bronzer. I really felt like this was going to happen with the Marc Jacobs and I'm so, like, I'm, I'm genuinely surprised. I'm genuinely surprised. I know I said that a lot in my last Project Pan videos and looking back, I'm like, duh, Sam. But I use this one so much, I don't know. I am surprised. I'm gonna keep this one in here though because I am just like determined to hit pan on it. I'm determined, okay? Also from ColourPop, I pulled in a Super Shock Shadow. This came in their uh, collection that they did with like the Disney princesses and this is the Colors of the Wind. I did hit pan on this one. I sure did. Once again, I'm going to insert close-ups. It's like pitch dark right now, so the lighting is probably crazy. But there is just the tiniest little smidge of pan 
there at the bottom. I've really gotten into Super Shock shadows over the last six, eight months or so here. I wear them so often. Um, I feel like they're just so easy to use and so many shades are really speaking to me. I love this Colors of the Wind and this more um, just like really beautiful gold tone. I think that it's so stunning. I wear this on its own so often I just run it all through the lid kind of use my middle finger kind of blend through the crease and truly I don't wear anything else it's sparkly it's beautiful it's kind of like that antique gold such an easy like one shadow look to wear but uh pretty proud of myself did it pin on that one Woo! Alrighty, and the last product that I had pulled in this was because like I said in the Kaja stack I hit pan in the cream bronzer and I thought maybe I'll try another cream product so I pulled in from tower 28 their beach please blush in magic hour I did not hit pan on this one once again this was in my bathroom a lot I have to say I really haven't been reaching for my cream products as much recently I noticed that the other day that a lot of times when I go to do my makeup I'm really going for my powder products I'm in my Jouer Champagne and Macarons face palette a lot my Charlotte Tilbury Nudegasm face palette a lot um, even my Ofra Life's draft palette that I did in collaboration with them I'm reaching into that a lot for bronzer blush highlight I just haven't been going into my cream products all that much I still really like them and I do still wear them but I feel like I've kind of I'm kind of leaning more towards powder right now. I'm not I'm not really sure what that's about. So this one I feel like I made very, very little progress in. And this one I decided not to keep in this next round of Project Pan. I'm gonna pull this one out because I just, I don't think that it's gonna happen. Still really like the blush. It's easy to use. It's a really nice shade. Um, but I just, I don't foresee myself hitting pan on this one. And you know, I don't really wanna set myself up to fail. That doesn't sound like a good idea. So um, I'm also, I'm not gonna keep in the one from ColourPop. I forgot to mention that. I did hit pan on it. Um, and I'm super proud of myself for that, but I have a couple other products that I'm pulling in here. So I'm keeping in the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer to see how much more use I can get out of it. And then I am keeping in the Marc Jacobs Bronzer to see if I can finally hit pan on it. And then I have two products that I decided to pull in. One of them is actually one that I mentioned in my uh, Best of Beauty 2020, like where are they now video that went up on Thursday. That's from Milk Makeup and it's their Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. So this isn't one that I'm hitting pan in, but I want to get more use out of this one. So I mentioned in that video that I really did enjoy this spray, but after I moved from Iowa to Vegas, I was very, very slow at unpacking my makeup and I still have containers and bags where I just haven't got everything out yet. I haven't put everything away. I talked in my last video where I did a get ready with me and kind of talked about how I'm feeling during holiday time, being alone, you know, my first holiday season, um, now being on my own and how, how I feel about that. And I mentioned just not being totally comfortable yet in my space because this feels very transitional to me. I know that I'm not going to be in this apartment forever. I don't even know if I'm going to resign my lease when it's up in May. So I I'm having a hard time really making it my own space. And I definitely am noticing that with my makeup and my makeup collection. I'm kind of like, I don't know what to do yet. So I'm kind of in that weird flux area at the moment. Um, which has probably made it, you know, me unpacking my bags even a slower process than I thought that it was going to be. So when I pulled this out so I could make the video, I was like, I need to get more use out of it. And I thought, I'm about to do this Project Pan update video. I'm going to pull it in and so I'll put a little mark on it and I'm going to see how much more use I can get out of the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip because I really like it. And I pretty much just go back and forth between my Urban Decay and my Benefit, but I'm excited to pull the Milk Makeup in. I think it's a nice, a long wearing uh, setting spray and then I also wanted to pull in a lip gloss because this is kind of wild to me This is from Huda Beauty and this is the silk balm once again I'll do some close-ups, but if you can see like I'm almost out of this gloss So once again, it's not one that I'm necessarily hitting pan on but like I feel like I could use this up Okay, and that's super shocking to me because I don't go through lip glosses all that much But when I say that I really enjoy the silk balm from Huda Beauty I'm not kidding. I went on to purchase the Honey Silk Balm and then also the Rose Quartz Silk Balm too. I just reviewed both of those in my latest, right? That video's already up. Yeah, that would have been yesterday's video. My Sephora um, follow-up video from the products that I purchased during the holiday savings event. 
I'm a big fan of these and I want to see like I really want to see if I can use this gloss all the way up So once again, I'll put a little mark on this one and we will see how I do and I'll come back in about two months Two to three months or so and give an update on these products Maybe pull some other ones in but I kind of like to keep it a little bit on the smaller side when I did project pans in the past Sometimes I pulled in so many products and because I'm also trying new products and reviewing new products It just got a little bit overwhelming and I think I was often left very frustrated because I felt like it was kind of pointless doing these videos but now I feel good. I, I feel good about this. I'm glad that I hit pan in that in that color pop shadow and I'm going to work on these next few and come back in a few months and update you. But other than that, that is it for today's video. I'm continuing along with Vlogmas. There's a new video from me every single morning here on YouTube. So stay tuned for all of the content that's coming in December. If you did enjoy this one though, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.